But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by those words thou shalt be condemned. You're going to tell us who you work for. I was all so interested to meet you. I'd heard so much about you from Sarah The real shame is that if you had really known the value of her sacrifice, we would have had you too. I think you would have done anything for her. You know you're not in Britain, and God knows where you'll be tomorrow. Which should tell you that eventually you'll tell us about the people you work with. And the longer it takes, the more painful we'll make it. <laughs> you really don't know anything about us. <laughs> it's so amusing because we're on the other side thinking, you know, they're my six the CIA. They're looking over our shoulders, they're listening to our conversations. And the truth is, you don't even know we exist. <laughs> well, we do now, Mr. White. And we're quick learners. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, the first thing you should know about us is we have people everywhere. Am I right? Exactly, and that's why a real conversation that is informed by us and our experiences is needed. Because at the end of the day, this is ours. And before you say it, I know what you're thinking. We're bro. not a monolith, bro and day-to-day -day is becoming painfully obvious. I hear you, Brev, but big man ting, left as it is, it's not looking good, Brev. We need to be more solution-based, Brev. All right, cool. But realistically, given all that's been said, you know what people are going to say, innit? Black people don't know how to come together. We don't know how to be on cold. But you know what's mad? Once you comb through the lies, you realise, and the root of it all, it's just a way to hide our differences and divide us. These times, over the last 100 years, when have we not come out in numbers? There was a collective understanding that what happened was an infringement on something that all of us should be able to say is ours. The right to a fair trial, this is ours. For the basic rights of a human being, this is ours. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Nah, for real, man. I mean, look at the last time everybody protested and demonstrated. Kyal them step out, man them step out. Everybody Bloody. step out. We've been doing this. The issue is the effectiveness. No, no, no. It's facts. And you see change it. It requires being effective and believing. Furthermore, it requires knowing man can do it. Because even though not everything that is faced can be changed. Nothing can be changed until it is faced. Change, not on the surface, but in the depth. Change in the sense of renewal. And this is why we need a safe space where we can be ourselves, free to not conform to somebody else's standards. A safe space where masks should be left at the door and there's no more need for that other voice because our authentic self should always be enough. Because it's 2024 and we're still having to put up with the same issues our parents did. In some cases, many times more. It's the passive aggressive nature of it. It's so insidious and deliberate. And like, we see it because it's so obvious, but for some reason and conveniently, no one else seems to see it. Yeah, you. Oh, so you thought you could escape the revolution by switching over to a cartoon, huh? Hell no. This is the new black and we're everywhere, big man. Black people know how to animate too, baby. And don't get me wrong, whilst there are some platforms doing their very best to normalise prejudice... There are those who support and push for more black representation. Yeah, and then they get slapped with like a million Ofcom complaints. In it, But what does that tell you? For me, this really highlights the importance of ownership. Because more of us are starting to have that do-for-yourself entrepreneurial mindset. So now is the perfect time for us as a community to become economically self-sufficient and self-reliant. Exactly. And at the end of the day, it's the only way we're going to level up the playing field. It's about bringing those ingredients together, chefing up something new, 
the way only we know how, and bringing that to the table. Because no matter how you slice it, I'm bringing it full circle, you can't lobby for change with nothing quantifiable to leverage with. We already shine in spaces that was not meant for us. If we put our minds to it, we can make a way. It's time for the next step. Our influence on the culture could not be overstated, and it's about time that we benefit from our contributions to the culture, both nationally and globally. Because truth be told, so much of this is ours. We have to understand that this system is not designed for us. Mm -hmm. Let's redesign it, let's recreate something, let's think outside the box and create something which we can extract the money that we need and create the resources and create the economy which can allow us to do and realise that strategy, you know, exactly. in real time. Uh, that's what I was saying, I feel like man needs something that's future-proof, like something that's got, like, what's that word again? Lo lo yeah, longevity, that's the word I'm looking for, something that's got longevity. You know, something that can be relevant today, but at the same time help the youth like me coming through, because, bro, like, we matter too, you know what I'm trying to say? That's why the new black is so needed. Like, I've been trying to tell you about the new black, man. Do your homework on the new black. That's why it's so important. And see, uh, listen, man, where's my bath nomination, man? What's wrong with you? Yo, yo, it's your brother Malik Yoba. I just want to encourage my brothers and sisters from across the pond to make sure that you own the means of production and distribution of your voices. It's time that they're heard. We know you've been consuming our content from around the world, but now is the time to make sure that your voice is heard as well. Much love, big up yourself, and uh, yo, keep it going because the diaspora needs us. The culture is in safe hands over here. After all, who can shape up the culture and push it forward better than us? This is ours. It's a reminder to us that no matter what your starting point is, if you believe it, you can achieve it. This, this is, is ours. ours. And listen, yeah? Mm. A man's reach should always exceed his grasp, you get me? And no dreams too big, bro. Yeah? Because mm. look around here, like, just imagine. One time, this was just an idea. And look how iconic this spot is now. People around the world recognize this spot. Amen. So imagine, just imagine, all of this amplified. Our own hub, you know what I'm saying, where we can create and curate collaboratively or individually, but mm. most importantly, freely. Mm. That's a word. I'm not going to lie. It sounds like music to my ears. I'm definitely in my bag. All I need is some bands and girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, but you know that's that's exactly it. Though, imagine a space here yeah, that's built with the same, the, the same unyielding spirit of conversation and change that Frank Critchlow fostered within the walls of the man. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly how TMB's broadcasting hub needs to be: a haven for intellectual exchange and a sanctuary for real, unfiltered conversation that puts our progression and our unity at the forefront. This is ours. All right. Then. That's right. Period. The new Black Hub will be the ultimate cultural space for the scene, serving as the epicenter of informative, entertaining, and disruptive Black British podcasts. Our distribution platform will feature a diverse range of shows spanning every conceivable field, from pop culture, music, sports, gaming, fashion, and lifestyle. To the arts, religion, tech, TV and film, politics, business and economics, and beyond. Imagine a space where creativity knows no bounds. Our state-of-the-art facility includes a live event space designed to host and broadcast podcasts, lectures, book clubs, DJ experiences, and comedy showcases. So it's more than just the hub. This is a revolutionary step towards establishing a powerful network for Black Britain. It's not just about talking about change, it's about making it happen. This hub represents a concrete and tangible solution, our first step in building the necessary infrastructure for transformation. This is the launch pad for a movement that will reshape the landscape of our community. We invite you to join us in shaping this legacy project. If you're interested in securing equity in this groundbreaking initiative before the live show, reach out to us at this is ours at thenewblack.com. And for brands and organizations keen on forging partnerships with us, please contact us at hello at thenewblack.com. Remember, our strength lies in unity. This is ours because this is yours. Together, let's create something extraordinary. Okay, so now look, listen to me. Come closer, even, right? We are going to be having a live show in aid of a fundraiser for one night only, the first of its kind, and guess what? You will have all your favorite podcasters under the same roof on the same stage. 
And for anybody that's interested, yeah, there's serious opportunities on the night, yeah, for investment, yeah. You can secure some equity in this new world we're building, yeah. Don't miss out. Okay, so guys, make sure you follow the new Black and All social media platforms. And don't forget to subscribe to The Day After TMB on YouTube. This morning's show is the first offering from our network. We stream live every single weekday from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And all the announcements regarding the new Black are going to be coming through here. So make sure you tune in. Now, how can you support and benefit directly from this revolutionary vision? Well, the new Black, TNB, are issuing an initial share offering by Seeding Equity ahead of our official fundraising event. Early supporters will benefit from the new Black having secured advanced assurance status from HMRC under the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme, SEIS, and Enterprise Investment Scheme, EIS, up to the value of £2 million. This is amazing news for TMB, but even better news for you as an investor. What this means for you as an investor in the new black is that you can get back up to 50% of your investment in income tax relief. Incur no capital gains tax on the sale of your TMB shares. Reduce investment risk down to 27.5% of money invested. Get 100% inheritance tax relief. Have the potential to earn multiple returns with a reduced base cost. To ensure all of these benefits are accessible to the masses, we have made a conscious decision to set the minimum ticket investment in TNB to £200. To achieve this, TNB have partnered with an acclaimed legal tech platform called Seed Legals, who are responsible for closing on over £1.3 billion in investments. Click on the link in our bio and head over to our Seed Legals pitch page to secure your equity in the new black.